I'm Vicki and welcome to my kitchen. Um, I have a few things to share with you tonight and if you will please give me a little bit of a break tonight. I'm working on this new video um, equipment and it's and as I said before pampered not perfect. So we may have a few glitches. Let's see if we can do this a little bit better. Get that light out of us. Okay. How are you tonight? Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I am working on getting my computer up so that I can see any messages coming through. So, give me one second, and let's see, it should be coming up. Somebody say hi to me so I can see any messages. Okay, are you there? Well, we're gonna go ahead and move forward because this takes a few minutes and what we're making tonight is a pecan pie ice cream. Um, and it's a custard based ice cream. I made the custard already. So we could go ahead and just get the ice cream going this is our sweet little ice cream maker, and you put the base in overnight before you start to use it and freeze it. And this is the top. And I'm going to plug it in. All right, Mom. I know I always tell you, plug yours in. Okay. So we've frozen the base. And we have the lid of the ice cream maker. And this is our custard. And y'all, I have never done this recipe before. So we're going to be experimenting together. I'm actually going to put it down below me so it won't interfere with the sound while it's making. Um, I think because it is, I am setting the timer to 30 minutes I, and I don't think it's going to take that long. Everything is really cold and the custard based ice cream mix is thicker. So let's go ahead and pour the custard in. Now don't worry about the recipe. I'm going to post it. But this custard base, I have thin this just a little bit to go in the ice cream maker, but the custard base can also be put in a cup or in, a, in dishes and chilled and it'll thicken up. And make a nice cup of custard. We're slowly pouring the custard in while the beater is rotating. You always turn the ice cream maker on before you start to put the mix in. It's 
Sorry, I didn't have the lid locked down. Okay, always make sure your lid is locked down. So, I'm going to put this below us so that I can talk to you about a couple of other things. Okay, while that's churning, I'm going to do a couple of other little things to prepare for it. And I have something to talk to you about. What's better than with pumpkin pie? What's good with pumpkin pie? A whipped topping. Always whipped cream. And I have put a tablespoon of um, toasted marshmallow skinny syrup. Y'all see me use this lots and lots of times. You know that I cook keto low carb. So all of my original recipes will have artificial sweeteners, but you can use regular sugar or syrups in your recipes. But the whipped cream maker is really easy and fun, and kids love to do it. So if you don't have a whipped cream maker in your house, this is one of the things you need to put on your wish, wish list. It's kind of a workout too. It's starting to get thick. I've used this a lot in my demos, and you've seen it before. I also put a pinch of cream of tartar because it actually thickens the, the whipped cream up nice and thick for using as a topping. Ooh, it's getting thick. Are you wearing green for St. Patrick's Day? We are going to post this, but the day we're filming is St. Patrick's Day. Ha, oh, it's getting really thick. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my gosh. Can y'all see this? I think you can see it. It's nice and thick and rich. It tastes amazing by itself. You really don't need the ice cream to go with it. The ice cream's coming along down there. So, I've also, in preparing, made candy pecans. And I can show you that post. I'll share that recipe for you as well. Um... You haven't seen me online in the last few weeks because I've actually been trying to decide how to do this post. I said something about having gastric sleeve surgery a while back. Somebody asked me why I cook keto low carb all the time. Um, it's because I had, like I said, gastric sleeve surgery. And I had so many people, and thank you for it, text me, email me, ask me questions about the gastric sleeve surgery. I have lost 150 pounds in the past year and a half. I don't quite look the same as I did before. As a matter of fact, someone came into the store at Art and Soul today and didn't recognize me. Um, I was, I'm always, it's always funny when that happens. Um, but I appreciate all the people who said something about it and wanted me to go live and talk about it. So, I've just kind of been trying to decide how to do this. Um, about two years ago, I made the decision to have gastric surgery. Uh, I had several, several years ago, I had major surgery. And after that surgery, losing weight was more than difficult. It was almost impossible. 
and after struggling with it for about six years, I decided to make this change and head first <laughs> and have this surgery. And it is a life-changing, life-altering surgery. And it was a little scary. Um, someone in my family had had it before me and had done all the research. And I did not have gastric bypass. I had what is called a gastric sleeve surgery. And in that surgery, a lot of people were asking me, what's gastric sleeve? Is it like a lap band? No, it's not like a lap band. It actually removes about two thirds of your stomach and removes your hunger hormone. So I have to remind myself to eat sometimes. Um, now, I am a foodie and I love to eat. You can kind of tell by my videos. But I've really, I've really pondered how to talk to you about this. Um, the reason I eat keto low carb is because I need to eat about 80 grams of protein a day. And if you're eating breads and potatoes and things like that that are fillers, you have a hard time eating enough to get in the right amount of protein that you need every day. Yes, one of the questions were, do you take vitamins? I take vitamins every day. But that's okay, helps keep me healthy. And I know I'm a lot healthier because I weigh less. Now, I still have 25 more pounds to go. And I will reach that goal, but let's face it, I'm 63 years old. I'm not gonna lose like a 20 or 30 year old. So, I take it slow and easy. I enjoy the food that I make. I make amazing food. It's all about taste and it's all about quality, not quantity that you eat. I've eaten some of the best foods, oh, I can say in the world now. I actually went to Europe after six, three months after having surgery. And I enjoyed food from France, Spain, and Italy. So I'm not deprived on anything. Someone asked if I was sick because was that the reason that I had surgery? I've written down a few of the questions that came through. No, I wasn't sick. I didn't have high cholesterol, I didn't have heart disease, I didn't have diabetes. But for my overall health and for, the, for my health going forward, this was a choice that I made. It is a permanent choice um, because they do actually remove part of your stomach. Uh, I know I'll eat like this for the rest of my life. It is also a tool to use. It's not a magic pill. Um, it, it is something that you live with, something that you learn how to incorporate it into your life. Um, like I said, I'm a foodie. I love to eat. I love to create recipes. So, instead of eating things like Oh, a hamburger with the bun, with the big bun and all the fixings. I'll do a hamburger steak and do cheese. Unfortunately, I can't do lettuce. That's not how everybody is. Um, sometimes there's drawbacks on doing something like this and something you have to give up. And the one thing I've had to give up was bring leafy vegetables. Now, that's not everybody. Because I love spinach and I love lettuce and, and things. Um, and most people can go back to eating it. But after a year and a half, it still doesn't like me. So I have given up some things. But I have enhanced my life so much more over the last, few, the last year and a half. I love 
cooking again. Pampered Chef has helped me so much with that. I've restocked my whole kitchen and now I'm cooking with all these amazing tools and creating these recipes that make my life exciting and fun. So, um, someone sent me a message that said, oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, don't feel sorry. If you're the one that sent me the email that says, oh, I feel so sorry. Um, why did you have surgery? And don't feel sorry for me. It has made my life so good. And I really make sure that what I put out there for you to see in my recipes, in my videos, is healthy, protein-packed um, recipes. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm looking at this custard, the frozen custard, and we're still about 15 minutes out from me having it in, but it is starting to look like ice cream. Uh, looks like soft serve ice cream, and I can't wait for you to see it. I did bring a bowl out, and I wanted to tell you, these are our storage containers. Okay, it's telling me it's done. Let's, and now my custard was really cold when I put it in. And it is really thick. So, oh my gosh, this is looking so good. It is ready. Hey, Mom, I think I like this recipe better than anything we've done so far. Y'all look at this amazing ice cream. Can you see the consistency of soft serve? It's nice and thick. I could put it in a cone. Now, on the ice cream I've been making, I would normally put this back in the freezer for a little bit before I ate it. But with the custard base, I don't think I'm going to have to do that. Now, while I'm scraping this off, if you have some questions about my surgery, about me, about the ice cream maker, um... Just put it in the post, comment on it, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I wanted to tell you another thing. You can come down, if you're in my area, I live near Valdosta, Georgia, and if you're in my area and you like to have a catalog in your hands, come down to Art and Soul in downtown Valdosta, Oh my gosh, it, this is so good. Come down to Art and Soul and pick up a catalog and browse the store. I have lots of things at the store from Pampered Chef. And, oh, let's see, where's my towel? Okay, I have lots of things at the store. And like I said, I always have catalogs there. It's in downtown Valdosta. And we're open Tuesday through Saturday. Oh, wow. And you can come if you want to text me, email me, um, send me a private message. You want to come down and see something. I'm usually at the store on Tuesday. I mean, on Wednesday and Thursdays. Um, Angela's there on Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. But I can meet you down there pretty much any time. Y'all, look at this ice cream. Well, it's thick.
This only took 20 minutes because it was so cold and so thick. Mmm. Wow. Now, I have candied pecans that I candied earlier to go in it. And um, I should have got my food chopper out so that you could see it working. Because I coarsely chopped the pecans with the food chopper to start with. But I think next time I'll chop them a little finer. Okay, we've got candied pecans. And I'm going to mix this, the candied pecans up in this ice cream and put it in a container and put it in the freezer. This is metal, so it freezes very well. You stuck to the sides. You know, it's almost ice cream season. And why pull out some big ice cream churn that you have to put outside and get salt and ice for when you can just make it on your countertop? Ah, oh, shit's getting stiff. Freeze this. It's got a little more in here. It's just really stuck to the sides. It's frozen. And I don't want to leave any in there. I don't want to waste it. And again, this is pumpkin pie ice cream, custard ice cream. Now you don't want to use something metal in your ice cream base. Um, it can scratch it and damage it. So I usually use a ice cream spade or a wooden spoon. My ice cream spades at the store. So I'm using a wooden spoon today. The um, you might ask why I'm not using the scrapers. It needs to be something a little stiffer because on the edges it's really frozen because this has been in the freezer all night, the base has. Okay, I'm putting the pecans. Yes, I say pecans. All right, Lou, I know. I know you're out there and you're watching me and you're saying pecans. I'm from South Georgia, it's pecans. Okay, so here we've got our pumpkin pie ice cream, custard ice cream. Oh, what did we forget? How about our whipped topping? Let's put a little bit of our whipped cream on the top. Oh, man. Is that pretty? Mm, I hope you make this either as ice cream or custard. Remember, if you're making it as ice cream, to add about a half cup more of the whipping cream. And I'll put make those notes in the in the um, in the post. And 20 minutes on the ice cream maker instead of 40. So come back and see me. I hope you've enjoyed this post, this live, and send me a message in the comments. Remember, you can share this with anyone. It is not private, it is public. So if you have a friend that you want to share it with, please feel free to share it and share any of my videos. If you're in our local area, Come by Art and Soul and see me downtown Valdosta. I hope to see you soon and 
I'll come back shortly. I won't wait this long for the next video. All right. Bye, y'all.